Hello and welcome to this session. In this session we will see a DHT11 very popular temperature and humidity sensor. So unlike LM35 this is a digital sensor which can which has only single pin output and easily display humidity and temperature. We have our regular setup our LCD 16 cross 2 LCD and our DHT11 sensor. So you can see the right hand side the DHT11 sensor this blue color sensor which has four pins the third pin is NC which is not connected the first pin goes to VCC 5 volts the second pin is digital output and the third pin is ground uh, sorry the fourth pin is ground to demonstrate that Arduino can be used uh, the analog input pins of Arduino can be used as digital input output we will use analog input A0 to make this circuit. Of course you can use any of the available digital input output pins also. Okay so before move, we move any further so let's see the uh, documentation uh, data sheet for DHT11. So this is the data sheet for DHT11 we have here humidity and temperature sensor created by D Robotics UK and here are some technical specifications so we know this technical specifications are good enough for any room temperature so let's simply move ahead and start programming so our aim is to display temperature and humidity values in two different rows of this LCD that's all uh, coming to our library unlike uh, other inbuilt libraries like LCD which is available in Arduino ID itself we don't have a library for DHT11 for DHT11 you have to download from Arduino playground so in the Arduino playground you will find this um, playground.arduino main DHT lib URL which has support for all DHT11 sensors so 11, 21, 22, 33 and 44 and here it is mentioned that latest version is available on github so the github page I already opened and you can see we have examples DHT CPP and DHT.h so before we move to uh, github and download the library let's get familiar with what this library actually offers so here it says the connections this we already seen and the DHT library okay so it's nothing important here the read function so this is the only function I think which is very important the read xx in our case we will use read 11 so this read 11 function will return the following parameters don't worry about these parameters we will we will see them in the program okay so only important function is read 11 function fine so what next so there is a note to use this library uh, make a folder in your sketchbook path libraries with the name DHT and put the dot h and dot cpp file so this we will certainly do so visit this uh, github page download dot h and dot cpp files I have already opened them access the raw files so that you won't be copying any html right click save as and go to your home in windows you will be probably in documents my documents and go to your arduino folder where your sketches are available go to libraries create a folder dht and I'll just make it all files enter similarly this header file also I will access raw from github right click save as enter so we have downloaded and installed uh, DHT library for Arduino 
so let's see whether it's available in our Arduino IDE I'm sure it won't be because you have to restart the IDE once you install the new library yes so it's not available what we will do is let me I hope it didn't okay so only keypad is available and DHD didn't came so let me close this IDE and restart <coughs> here you can see go to sketch and now you can see the DHT library so just click on that library it will include the DHT file so coming to programming let me keep this IDE along with our live video feed so connections I already made you can see we have this DHT11 uh, sensor sitting here the left pin is connected to this VCC through this red wire the rightmost pin the fourth pin is connected through to ground using the black wire and this white wire here goes all the way to A0 where we have configured the A0 as digital input output pin fine so let's get into programming let me clear the markers and we don't need this comments anymore we already know void setup runs only once void loop is a continuous iteration till microcontroller resets okay so what else we need uh, we need of course we are using LCD so hash include liquid crystal dot H then you have to create an object for liquid crystal let's say LCD and give the pin number pin number 13 is your register select pin number 12 is enable and 11 10 9 and 8 are data lines for LCD now coming to setup in the setup let's start with pin mode we know pin mode A0 we have to make it as input that's it and the LCD dot begin as always 16 comma 2 now coming to void loop here as I mentioned in the uh, playground page we have only one important function to uh, worry about which is read 11 function so before we go to read 11 we have to initiate uh, object of DHT likewise because this is like it's shown in the example okay let me show you the example first let's go to terminal uh, sorry let's go to github examples dht11 11 and here you can see we have to create a object of dht and then we can simply read the pin dht.read11 for dht11 and after reading the pin we can simply print the values of the humidity and temperature fine so we won't be following the other details we won't make it simple so we will do it in our way and okay let's come here void loop dht dot read 11 and pin number a0 next lcd dot set cursor 0 comma 0 0 throw and 0 column now lcd dot print dht dot humidity so these are um, okay these are the inbuilt um, objects available with DHT 
so let's start looking at it and let's see whether this can print a humidity value on our LCD screen so let me upload the program So yes, it is something like 52 and 51. The reason it's flickering because of this infinite loop and a fast iteration. So let us give a small delay of say 500 milliseconds. Control U to upload. I hope it gets stabilized now. A little better. Okay, so I hope this is the humidity value not hope i know it's a humidity value and similarly let me copy these two lines and paste instead of zero I throw uh, i'm sorry let's change the cursor position to five and say percentage humidity similarly let's do for okay let's first upload this okay so we have this 62 percent humidity let's do it for temperature also for the next line we will print temperature so for temperature it's very simple same follow the same method LCD dot set cursor instead of zero row make it first row then LCD dot print will say DHT dot temperature and let's point the cursor back To one and we will see it also returns in degree centigrade I think that's it control U to upload I think the six would be better So it has 62% humidity and 30 degrees centigrade. So all this is possible because of this fantastic library in dht.h. If not, you can write your own library by looking at the source code which we have recently downloaded. So you can go through this source code and find out how it works and what actually the source code is written from the data sheet where you got these parameters. You remember this data sheet, we have all kinds of signals status bus and when where to get the signal and where to get the at what time you have to get the signal and which bits are available at which clock cycles etc so all this work has been done with the help of library so that's the specialty of arduino we need not to rewrite any uh, internal core libraries they are already either made by code team of arduino or by some enthusiast like you and me so that's all for this session so we'll see more such sensors in our later sessions see you then